In this video, I'll show you how to connect your Epson EcoTank printer. This one is the ET2800, but it works with many, many different models the same exact way to your computer. It could be a Mac or a PC, it does not matter. So let's get started. First step, you need to get on the small screen over here on the front of the printer, press the home button. And from here, using the left and right arrows on each side, we need to navigate until you see settings then press OK, navigate until you see printer setup. Press once more OK. And here we need to press a few times until we see something that is saying PC connection via USB. Once you see this, press OK. And we need to make sure that this is enabled because if it's disabled, obviously it will not work. OK, once you make sure it's enabled, press OK, perfect. We can go back, press the home button. And now it's time to go on the back of your printer while, where the USB port, you see, it says USB here, is located. You'll need one of these cables that I don't know what's their name, but I'll put a link in the description if you want to get one from Amazon. I think it's easier for me to do this. So you see it has this end and does not come included with the printer. So don't look in the box. It's not there. So you're going to um, connect one end of this cable over here. And, and the other end, the USB end, to your computer. If your computer only has USB type C ports like mine, you'll need an adapter. And again, I'll put a link in the description if you want to get one of these. This adapter, it's very easy. You connect this end of the cable and it allows you to connect to your computer. The next step is to get the driver, the Epson driver on your computer. In my case, I'll show you how to do it with the Epson ET2800, but in your case, it's the same thing, but just slightly different. And I will also show you how to print and how to scan. I'll put a link in the description on the, to go directly on the Epson website so you don't lose any time. Go down on this page where it says download and then over here, it will ask you for your operating system. Click on this and select the version of your Windows PC. In my case, it's uh, Windows 10, 32 bits. So I'll select this, but maybe yours is different. And then press go. Uh, press accept if you see this, go down. Okay, and now we have uh, over here recommended for you drivers and utility combo package installer. Go ahead and select the download button here and the driver will be automatically downloaded. Once the download is done, open the file that you just got, press yes, press yes, then press accept. Now here it's up to you if you want to accept these, uh, you're not obligated to accept this, like allow software usage information to be collected for Google anal Analytics. I don't want this, I don't want to give my information for free, although Google probably already has it. So I'll just uncheck this uh, over here too and express product registration as well. I don't want this, so I'll just uncheck them, but if you want to keep them check, it's up to you. Press next. Then check I finish filling uh, the ink tanks. Press next. If you see this screen appearing, go ahead and click update. Select uh, your uh, product over here, ET28200 series, and then press the next button. Then on this screen, make sure on the left side over here that scanner utilities has a check mark. Manuals, you're not obligated. I will uncheck it. Epson Photo Plus as well. You're not obligated to use this software, but it helps. Support utilities. I don't need this. I'll uncheck it. And finally, Epson Connect software. I would suggest you keep this as well. So once this is done, press install. 
on this screen they will ask you if you want to print a test page it's up to you you're not obligated so we'll just skip it we'll print our own test page then here it's up to you to leave everything checked i'll uncheck remind me about epson extended service plan i don't want any reminder and press next and finally press the finish button next you can close your browser now let me show you how to print you just have to find the uh, file you want to print on your pc in my case it's this pdf over here so i'll tap on uh, the file that i want to open this is a pdf but maybe yours is a jpeg it doesn't matter once the file is open go ahead and select the print icon if you don't see a print icon what you can do on the keyboard is to press Ctrl P and this uh, window will appear. So make sure on the printer that ET2800 series is selected. If not, just go in this list and select your printer. And then you can change the different properties and different settings before printing. So in my case, I'll go in properties. And here, make sure that the document size uh, is the right one. In my case, yeah, it's eight and a half by 11. Portrait, color, this is up to you really. Um, once it's done, press the OK button. On the printer itself, go ahead and insert some paper. And then all you have to do is to press the print button. We can extend this black piece of plastic here because this is where the paper will go. Here we go. So this is what just got printed. Everything looks great. Everything looks sharp. Now let me show you how to use the scanner of this printer. It's very easy as well. So lift the lid over here. Now there is already a document here. I'll show you how to do. So take your document. The top part of your document should go on the right side of this scan. So go like this, place it uh, facing down. And over here, you may see a small arrow. You just need to glide the paper corner to this, uh, to the corner of this, where the, the arrow is like that. Okay. So once this is done and it looks like this, close the lid on your PC computer, go and tap this windows logo the start button then in all the software that uh, were installed on your computer just a few minutes ago find epson software and then you should see over here epson scan smart tap on it this is a software that we installed while installing the driver as well and this is what you'll see over here where it says scanner make sure that your printer is selected in my case i'll press change and I'll select Epson ET2800 series, press OK. And then you're going to press this scan blue button. Wait a few seconds. And then you'll have a preview of the scan. You can do multiple things from here. You can delete the scan in case you're not satisfied the way it looks. You can rotate the scan in case uh, you didn't place the, uh, your document the right way. And you can also prop in case you just want some of the information from the document and not the whole document and not the whole thing. Once you're happy with uh, these settings, you're going to press the next button here and you'll have the choice to save it, to attach it to an email or to print what you just scanned. In my case, I will save it on my computer. This will open. You'll be able to give this scan a brand new name so let's test epson scanner okay et so this is how the document will be named file type in my case this is a um, document with a lot of text and some graphics so i'll select pdf but this is up to you if you're uh, scanning some pictures select jpeg and finally, select in which folder do you want this scan to go. In my case, it's desktop, so I'll just leave it like this. But if you're not satisfied with what they show here, press browse and select another folder. Then press the save button. And the scan file will be presented to you. So let me open the document. Here we go. And this is what we just scanned.
So I hope this video was helpful. If so, please leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.